Hey YouTubers, Blind Modeler is back. Um, I just wanted to do this quick video. I'm um, I picked up these uh, these weathering sets. Uh, it's called Life Color uh, Liquid Pigments, and uh, here's the bottles. They come in a six pack. Um, five, you got five colors and a remover. Um, so I'm kind of testing these out just to uh, see what kind of results I get. So um, the sets are about 30 bucks a piece, plus or minus a few bucks, depends where you look. I picked mine up off of eBay. Um, these are basically military uh, weathering colors, but um, you know, we can borrow them for model railroading as well. Um, so I decided to practice on a couple of cars so far. Uh, this is a MDNW um, MDC car that I had sitting around for a while. Um, and here's the results of that. What's great about the remover is it actually removes all of that. These are acrylic paints and it, it actually takes it right off if you're not happy with what's going on. But here's what I've done with this so far. Um, maybe fix the end there a little bit this side I haven't done uh, one side I haven't done just to show the difference but here's the car on one side and here's the weathered side I did up the roof there pretty well and uh, the brake wheel end and so I have this Walther's uh, chassis reefer. Um, the packets I got are a detail emphasizer, which I, I used on the MD and W card. Uh, this side I didn't do anything to yet, just to show you the difference. So this is the unweathered side. I did some rain and dust on the ends, the blue ends of the car. Um, but as you can see these are the um, the life color weathering uh, liquid pigments they um, are washes so you don't have to do anything with them to thin them out you just brush them right on or you can even airbrush them and like I said, with the remover, the remover takes the stuff right off without any issue. So um, just wanted to show that this to you really quick and to show you some of the work that I've been practicing with. Um, like I said, I left one side unweathered to show the difference and um, uh, some of the colors that come in there, there's burn umber, black umber, black gray, which I use the black gray on this car with dust. Uh, there's rain um, streaks, which I used on the uh, end of the door track here and at the door stops. Um, there's rust in there, earth, light earth. Um, I used... Uh, I think it's called dark sand uh, for weathering on the Chessie car here and uh, didn't come out too bad. Um, still going to do a little bit more practicing on it with the help of that remover. It's, it's great stuff. I mean, like I said, they're washes. Uh, so here's the stuff right here. Here's life color. Uh, you get six bottles in each. Um, with a remove, or one of them's a remover. And uh, this is what they are. Um, I believe they're an Italian company. Um, so that's a quick, uh, quick uh, video on. Uh, what I'm doing here at my workbench and uh, got a few projects lined up and uh, 
another project I have is I have um, yeah maybe I'll get to it later anyhow well, that's my video for now quick update just wanted to show some weathering projects I'm doing and uh, it's really easy you can't I'm just gonna say you really can't screw this up um, with the remover available in there it really takes it right off and it doesn't ruin the paint on your models so that's a nice thing about that um, so I, I would suggest getting a shot I'm probably after I'm done with these probably just gonna go over it with some pan pastels as well just to kind of finish it off and but that's what I've been working on so there you have it um, like I said this stuff's really easy to do you gotta just shake up the shake up the bottles really well then uh, you can br brush it on hand hand brush it and uh, they say to use a fine tip uh, a finer tip brush to get like around all the seams and um, rivet lines and things like that and the paint really makes that detail pop especially using the detail emphasizer um, I have another kit coming called the rust wizard um, which has different degrees of rust on it so I think that would be a cool thing to have um, I'm gonna practice on a Southern Pacific 89 foot uh, Walther's auto carrier um, there was one that I had seen many years ago and I've always wanted to model it it was pretty it looked like a rust bucket on wheels so anyway that's uh, that's my couple of my uh, projects like I said you really can't mess these up um, if you overdo something you can just take the remover you can remove it completely or kind of just remove a little bit um, and there you have it it's good stuff to do and if you want to jump into weathering I would say this is a good way to jump into it um, use these pan pastels and uh, you can't go wrong all right well that's it for now and blind modeler out talk to everybody later bye